So what does happen when you press a key? And what problems can occur? However, first I'd like to show you how to properly address your piano technician. Now let's begin. This is going to be a very, very basic overview of a very, very complex subject. For our purposes, we're going to think about the mechanical side of the piano much more than the tone side. So, first of all, a word from our noise-canceling sponsors, Felt and Buckskin. These keep the operation of the piano as quiet as it can possibly be and provide the mechanism to stop the string from ringing when we want it to stop. The key to all this, which is, uh, curiously, the key. As you see, it has a top, it has weights, it has a felt line joint here and here, it has a cap stand, a back check, and a piece of felt. So when the damper lifts, it doesn't make noise. Otherwise, you'd have a lot of that sound. Now, it's proper at this point to mention a fellow by the name of Cristofori, who's probably Italian. And in 1708, he figured out how to make something, hit something, and get ready to hit it again. Now, his action was not this action. This is a Yamaha, very modern piano action. But the principles were the same. So, let's start here at the capstan. It sits against this assembly, it's called the Whippin. So when you hit the key, it presses on the weapon, which lifts the hammer, as you can see, which is lifted by the jack. And if everything is properly regulated halfway up the, the stroke, the damper will lift. So we have a whole thing happening, all because you're pressing here. Now, this has to go down a certain distance, which is about 10 to 10 and a half millimeters, or in our country, 3 eighths of an inch. And it sends the hammer up, and just in time, the hammer will back off from the string. And that allows it to get ready again. Now, if I do a fortissimo blow, in other words, a hard blow, it is caught by the back check which helps it get ready to hit again. If I hit a pianissimo blow, such as you would have in Debussy, it is caught by the drop button. All of this is about maintaining control so the player can get as much expression as possible. Now this action has been regulated by a very bright technician, uh, God, what was his name? Oh, me. So, everything's happening just at the right time. But let's pretend things aren't happening well. Well, in your piano in July, often the key will become very sluggish because it swells here and here, and it grabs this pin and this pin too tightly. So the key can actually stay down, or it can simply be very slow. And if you're playing very rapid music, it's, it's a big problem. If, when you hit a note, you hear a click, that means either the hammer head is loose, it's glued on the end here, or its flange needs to be tightened with a very complicated instrument called a screwdriver. And if this, the jack tender, encounters this, the let off button, too early, well, it doesn't ever get to the strings. You are actually, this is one of the most common things I find in pianos. You're actually having to force it into the felt really hard to get the hammer to be there and all of your middle and upper expression is now gone. If the string continues to ring after you've let go and it should stop and the damper should drop and string ends, we have to adjust typically this damper wire. So all of these things your technician knows or better know or you should fire. So address that with him. These are the simple actions of a well-regulated action, that meaning all of the geometry happening from here to here is correct. So, now that you understand something about the grand piano action, here are some cats jumping off of a pent pentagonal versional.